Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. My name is Chaplain Larry Crabtree, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as one of the chaplains with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Maryland State Police. I'm joined today with my friend, Kathy Kreps, who serves as a fiscal specialist here at St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. You know, the Sheriff's Office hosts this event each year, and we're thankful for all that are involved in helping this to be a successful time and a special memory that we share together. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to each of you who are joining us online this year for the 2020 Silent Angel Memorial. This special memorial time was founded in 2002 by Ms. Eileen Bildman following the tragic loss of her own son. It was her desire to create a way for our community to remember and honor the victims of homicide. The central feature of our memorial is a tree containing a silent angel ornament that has been personally engraved with the names of the victims of homicide. The silent angels symbolize hope and goodness, purity, protection, comfort, and consolation. And we trust that this time of memorial will provide friends and family a means of expressing profound feelings of loss and love with the shared context of others who face the same emotions at this holiday season. Now, I began this time of memorial with greetings of Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. But let's be honest, not all is merry and bright. To some, the season may genuinely feel like the most wonderful time of the year. But all of us know deep down that not all is merry and not all is bright in this world, and perhaps not inside of us. In fact, some Christmases are more deeply filled with burden and, and weighted down than others. And all the talk of joy and merriment at Christmas can make our sorrows feel all the more acute and our pains that much more sharp. Now normally, life is hard enough. It's even harder when all the world seems to be singing and ringing bells and pretending everything's suddenly merry. And the pressure to feel the joy of Christmas can make joy all that more difficult. But you know, the real Christmas that this season commemorates does not ignore our pain. When we open the pages of scripture and turn to that first Christmas, we find without a doubt that all was not merry and all was not bright. In fact, the glimpses of merriment that do emerge are only falling against the backdrop of fear and of misery and of disorder. And so those first rays of brightness shown in a land of deep darkness and people that were feeling considerable hurt. So perhaps this holiday season is a very fitting time to remember and to honor those that we love and we've lost. And perhaps this time of memorial can allow some light, perhaps some joy, to be projected into our lives and into our community as we remember together our loved ones that we so fondly miss. Could you please join me in prayer? Father, this is a strange year. It's been difficult. And as we gather for this 2020 Silent Age Memorial, we're missing a huge piece of this, that we're not able to be here together in a, a formal and, and, and real way. And yet that's what so much of this is intended for, to share in a very personal way these moments and these memories. But God, I'd ask that in whatever way you can, that through this online means, this piece of technology, that we will still be able to capture that sense of community. And that in these moments, we'll be able to honor, remember, and express our love for those that we care so much about and that we miss so deeply. So Lord, I pray that you'll bring your care and your presence and your love to all this season. And those that are hurting and feel that emptiness, that you might bring your presence to them and they might feel your love and care. And may our community also bring that same heart and that same love and attitude to one another. And I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. Richard L. Guy. Raymond Burrell.
Stephanie Ann Roper. Thomas Tibbet. Gary Lorenzo Jordan. Vincent Casciola. Kevin Lamont Mills. Chung Sizzler. John Baker. Ralph DiCarlo. Douglas Kovac. Lawrence Miles. Kenneth Chase. Sarah M. Sapp. Charles Donaldson. Timothy Ryan Harper. Francis Woodburn. David W. Scholes. David M. Atlas, Jr. John Paul. Randy Brooks.
Tony Lanasi the third. Jerry Colbreth. Marisha White. Robert Polanco. Stephen Alawu. Robin Morgan Keenan. Claudia Pickerel. Paul Harrington. Ashley N. Jones. Darlene Watson. Thomas Scriber. Sarah Collins. Joseph T. Maddox. Daryl R. Mackle. James Jones. Michael Blankenship. Ethel Gray.
Elizabeth Oliver. John Butler. Lewis Moreland and Edward Moreland. Kevin M. Clark. Matthew Jones. Paula Hoops. Patricia Dean. Elmer Buckler. Keith Bonds. Ayana L. Taylor. Darlene M. Dowsey. Suzanne L. Combs and Timothy J. Combs. Janet Ann Reginato. Tavares Sharon Hewlett. James Augustus Chaporis.
Robert Phipps Sr. Edmund Travis Copeland. Mark Allen Peterson. Thomas J. Saunders. Billy G. Gurley. Smith Jr. Christopher M. Patty. Donald Thompson. Devin Baker. Antonio Pollard. Gary Trogden. Andre Augustus Hawkins. Robert Lee McDowney Sr. Oh, 
Janetta Jo Strickland. Walter Bryant Dorsey III. Cody Michael Lacey. Emmett Brentley Wilkins. Cecilia Darlene Stubbs. Roger Allen Bruce. Jalen Rose Willie. Retain Jeremy Gill. Jordan Lee Sullivan. Felicia Renee Wagner. Antoine Jamal Bowman. Dianti Lee Battle. Stephen Edward Arnold and Rosalie Denise Arnold. Twain Belafonte Harrod Sr. And that concludes this year's Silent Angel Memorial. I'd like to thank all of you for taking some time to join us online and to keep close to heart those that we remember and love. And again, I do wish that you might experience and know a very Merry Christmas and a very happy, happy New Year.